Now, in a significant diplomatic maneuver, India has announced its commitment to assist Bangladesh in the conservation and management of the Tista River, effectively looking to grab the edge over China and its influence on Bangladesh on the issue. The announcement came during the visit of Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to Delhi and is seen as a key part of Delhi's neighborhood first and safar outreach in the region. एवं प्रबंधन पर बातचीत के लिए शीघ्र ही एक टेक्निकल टीम बांग्लादेश का दौरा करेगी। China's interest in the Tista project had been publicly acknowledged last December when Beijing's ambassador to Dhaka announced China's keenness to support the Tista River comprehensive management and restoration project. China sent a revised proposal to Bangladesh by slashing the costs and proposed to implement the project face by face. This move by China had raised strategic security concerns for India given the sensitive nature of shared water resources and the geopolitical implications of Chinese involvement in the region. Committee to initiate discussions for renewal of Ganges Water Sharing Treaty of 96 has been formed. The technical discussions on this will soon begin. Uh, we will also be undertaking conservation and management of the Tista River uh, inside Bangladesh with suitable Indian assistance. Analysts say India is keen to prevent management of the Tista River going into Chinese hands. Chinese presence within 100 kilometers of the India-Bangladesh border is a big concern, especially close to the chicken's neck, the narrow strip of land in North Bengal, that connects the northeast with the rest of India. However, according to reports, a lobby in the ruling Awami League in Bangladesh is keen on the Chinese proposal. Tista River, which begins from Tista Kangxi Glacier in North Sikkim, flows through Sikkim and West Bengal before entering Bangladesh, where it joins the river Brahmaputra. It is an important source of water for irrigation, hydropower generation, and supports diverse ecosystems along its course. As Asina heads to China next month, she will have to balance relations with both India and China. She is hopeful about New Delhi finding a solution to the Tista water sharing impasse. Baswati Mukherjee is a former Indian diplomat. He is now joining us live from New Delhi. Mr. Mukherjee, Welcome to the show. Why is India keen to prevent management of the Tista River going into Chinese hands? How significant is this project for India? This project is extremely significant because, as has been just pointed out, it originates from within India. It flows through Bengal, which is a very important frontier state for us, and it then joins the Brahmaputra, the mighty Brahmaputra in, in Bangladesh. We are extremely concerned at the prospect of Ch the Chinese moving in so close to the border and so close to the chicken's neck, uh, which would, uh, in the event of an attack by the Chinese, if it's successful, cut off the Northeast from the rest of India. Under those circumstances, and especially because we have the right as the as they call it under the uh, international law, the upper riverine uh, uh, rights, we have ourselves generously provided water uh, to Bangladesh through a, an arrangement, a treaty arrangement, uh, which initially met with a lot of resistance from the state government in West Bengal, and which needs to be now managed within Bangladesh in a manner in which they can use it for irrigation and ensure that it's used for the purposes for which India is making this water available. I am confident that the technical team which is being sent shortly, as has been announced, uh, will be going to Bangladesh and suggesting a comprehensive water management system on which we have considerable expertise. And it would certainly be much more economical than any Chinese project because the Chinese are very uh, commercial in their approach. Uh, to such shared development projects as can be seen in uh, in their projects in other neighbors, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, etc. 
and I don't actually see any difficulty in going ahead with this joint project. Naturally, uh, the Chinese would try to weigh in. They have always tried in the past also uh, to uh, put pressure uh, on the Bangladesh Prime Minister uh, uh, for to try and get political and economic advantage of being a vast and huge and highly powerful neighbor of, of Bangladesh. Uh, but India has always succeeded because of its approach to development cooperation, which is fundamentally different from that of China, has always managed to balance it out. And I am convinced and sure that they would do so. Ma'am, allow me to apologize before I, go, I move on. I refer to you as he, so I, I'm really sorry that for happens, that. That happens, <laughs> that happens very often because I always presume that ambassadors are to be men. So I'm, I'm, I am sorry I'm glad for that. that that's, I'm sorry for that's that. All right. um, Okay. Madam Diplomat, the Bangladeshi Prime Minister is heading to China next month. How will she maneuver and bridge her relationship with both India and China amid this impasse of a Tista? What will be your advice to her? My advice to her would be to look at the map and see where the river originates, where it flows and how it flows into Bangladesh. This is not a river originating in China. This is an Indian river flowing through West Bengal, my home state, all the way to join the mighty Brahmaputra, one of the mightiest rivers in the world. And we have been extremely generous in offering to share water, given the fact that we could very well have given a much smaller quantity of that water, but we have not done so. As a bigger neighbor, we have been extremely generous. And after all, the Tista comes from within Indian territory. So I think that... Uh, the uh, Bangladesh Prime Minister, who spent a considerable amount of her youth in India, actually, and she was in India when her father was assassinated, uh, and has very close ties uh, with all of us here in India. Uh, I'm sure she would recall the geography and uh, explain to her Chinese host uh, that this, uh, the internal management of this river uh, would be best left to the Indians, considering that the river originates in India, and the Tista Treaty is an agreement, bilateral agreement between India and Bangladesh. And China has, has no role to play. That is that, if you ask me, I wouldn't dream of giving any advice to her. She's a very wise person. But since you asked me, this is what I would suggest. All right. Eric. We'll have to leave it there. I've been talking to Madam Diplomat Baswati Mukherjee. Madam Diplomat, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you very much, Eric, for having me on the program. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.